wasting money on expensive VSTs is the worst thing you can do, especially when you're just starting out. Free VSTs are just as good nowadays. You just need to find them in a jungle of crappy plugins. Let me help you with that. And here is the first one. It's called Retro Casio, which is based on a toy keyboard from the 80s. Once installed, you can look for an instrument in the preset list. For example, the piano. This one can be used for dark trap melodies like this. You can use the Attack DK Sustain and Release here, just like you can do with other synths. And definitely play around with the reverb of this plugin because it actually works really well. If you want to remove the scratchy synth sound, just turn down the built-in cutoff knob. This will cut a little from the high frequencies. The melody sounds great, but I want it to sound even better. To do that, we're going to use Pancake 2 from Cable Guys. This is a plugin that increases the dynamics of a sound by moving it from left to right. Adjust the curve to your liking, but the sine wave actually works pretty good. Go to the LFO and from the drop down menu, choose a time signature. This will decide how fast the curve will be repeated. Take a listen. For me, 1 8 works best. And just like with most plugins, you can increase or decrease the effect by adjusting the mix knob. The next VST is called Synsphere and believe me, it's gonna blow you away. And it's also super easy to use. Let me demonstrate. This should be representing a sphere and all you need to do is drag it until you find a combination of instruments that you like. You need to watch the percentages to understand how much of these sounds will be present. Keep doing that until you found something that fits the beat. Awesome. They also have a built-in delay, which you can use to spice it up even more. I just think that the melody sounds a little bit too flat. Good thing I have another free plugin called Ozone Imager. This is literally a stereo expander. If you turn down this slider, you basically make the sound mono. Or in other words, exactly the same signal at the left and the right. If you slide it up, the plugin will spread out the sound, which blows more life into the melody. The spectrum is also very easy to understand. If everything is in the middle, it sounds flat. Turn up the slider and you can see everything expand. Easy peasy. If you didn't hear about this plugin, you've been living underneath a rock. This VST has some very good bass sounds, which you can tweak and adjust to the sound of your beats. My favorite one so far is the third sample. Turn up the release and the drive until it sounds the way you like. Lay down a pattern and boom. You know what? Let's throw some drums on the melody. That sounds really cool and it's all made with free VSTs. In fact, I have one more bonus VST for you guys, which is called Scratchpad. I actually made an entire video about that, about what it does, how to use it and all that good stuff. Subscribe, gotta go now.